Hello. First. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hello and welcome. Why are my captions not working? Wait, okay, there we go. Okay, hello. Welcome to the stream. My name's Anna Davis Court. This is Anthony Sims. We're oops all bloops. Off to a great start already. It's just flawless and flawful all together all at once. Um, thank you for being first in the chat, Anthony. Stealing it from our other lovely people. How dare. <laughs> but hey, gold star for you. Hey, thanks. Annika's in here. We've got Tara in here as well. Whoop, 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 That's whoop. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Anthony has been gone for so long that I forgot you can read the chat. <laughs> How crazy. <laughs> What's that like? Wait, no, never mind. I'm going to get to draw <laughs> you can do it. so much. Oh my gosh, it's going to be great. <laughs> Did you decide on what you wanted to draw? I suggested Octopus, but that's not what I saw on your Cintiq a second ago. A second ago? You should have it open at all times. Oh, uh, yeah, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I decided no to Octopus. Um, not feeling that as much today. I have drawn an Octopus on stream in the past. Do you remember our watercolor Watercolor, stream? yeah. I know, right? That was we fun. We did it. Anthony, uh, I, I was talking to him on Discord, and I was like, what should I draw? And uh, he said... Uh, immediately. He, the response was immediate, and it was concise with a link to a john oliver video about how great octopuses are <laughs> it's it's how amazing. much more of a response could you ask for nothing and you go I with mean, this unless it was john oliver himself being like anna drop an octopus <laughs> i mean he pretty much did did you watch that episode yes i did i've seen it before <laughs> so it was great <laughs> if you haven't seen john oliver just gush over how great octopuses are then uh go watch it it's great Anyways, uh, no, today we were drawing a Mothman, but also, like, this is just a character design that I did in my sketchbook, and so it's not anything specific. It's pretty random, in fact. Um, it, I just wanted a cape, and then it turned into mothy features, and then we have a croissant, because at this time that I drew it, it was probably a few months ago now, uh, my dad was sending me pictures almost daily of the croissants that he makes. And I'll tell you what, that man is a baker. Okay, he could be on the Great British Bake Off in a second if he was British. So um, yeah, that that is what we're going to be painting today. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, I think it might work. Let's see. Let's see. Reconnected and it feels so good. <laughs> Reconnected like you knew. Oh, you uh, or YouTube decided to call it quits though. C curious, curious. So wait, where am I broadcasting to? I think we're on YouTube. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Wait. <laughs> No, we're on Behance. We're on Behance for sure. Poor network connection, which is very curious as well. Um, hey, can you hear us? Can you see us? We're just going to keep talking <laughs> until you can. <laughs> Are you talking about YouTube? I can hear oh, us on man. Behance. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm checking on the YouTube page. Sorry for the delay in drawing, but kind of have to figure this out. Um, YouTube is loading connect streaming software so yeah it should i mean it says it's broadcasting from obs but the youtube page i have is being like i don't think you're broadcasting man mm. <laughs> uh i might Ooh, i'm gonna refresh it let's see what happens risky risky refresh risky for the bisky baby uh it's fine if we have to kick 
uh, YouTube off, I could actually download the video from Behance and re-upload it to YouTube after the fact. Um, it just won't have the live feed. Excellent. <laughs> it says it's excellent connection on YouTube and on Behance. It's like, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but thank you for sticking around, everybody. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Annika's saying, all the layers in the croissant. I was craving one and couldn't even think of doing all the work. Oh, my gosh. The lamination of the dough, okay? It's very intense, and he loves doing it. You have to beat the butter into, like, a thin pad of butter, and then you do the book folds. It's a whole thing. It's very cool. Lament the lamination. Lamenting the lamination. <laughs> Sounds very dramatic. <laughs> Super. Super duper, Dad. Okay, I'm going to try stopping the broadcast to YouTube and then starting it back up. And let's see what happens. Let's just get experimental. Anyways, so if I go to the Cintiq, Cintiq screen, y'all can see this, right? Is this a thing you can see? I'll let you know once I can see it. Okay, cool. I am so confused as to why YouTube is just not doing anything. It's fine. I'll just upload it after the fact and we can cut YouTube. Is that okay? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Okay. Yeah. Goodbye, YouTube, if you can see us. I don't know if you can, but we're over on Behance. Follow, chat, subscribe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. There we go. Looks like your Cintiq is up and Annika says yes. And OMG, <laughs> I saw an episode of The Whole Thing once. The Whole Thing? The Whole Thing? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the the process of making it is fascinating and also laborious. So I uh, I am endlessly fascinated with it, and I love hearing him talk about it because I've watched a lot of those shows and I know a decent amount about baking, and so I can kind of keep up with the like, oh yeah, the lamination. I know what that means and all that stuff, and so he gets very excited about that, and I love it because also it results in the most delicious baked goods. If you've not had a fresh croissant, a croissant with the layers and it's all fresh, oh my goodness, it is just insanely great. Uh, something really to uh, to call home about. <laughs> and say, hey dad, thanks for the croissant. Literally call home uh -huh. about. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pumping up the levels here so that we can kind of get a clearer shot of the the page. Uh, the idea here isn't, for me at least, necessarily to make it look like it's clean or that it's not from my sketchbook. I actually really love seeing people paint over their sketches that looks like they just painted in marker or something on their sketchbook. So that's kind of the look I'm going to go for. Yeah. Okay. Beep bop. Beep 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 bop bop beep bop. But it's been a hot minute since we've been together. So Anthony, I'm really just curious. How are you doing? How's life? I want a snack. I want a croissant. Okay, go get one. <laughs> you should have let me know. When I told you octopus and you were doing a 180 and going croissant moth, you should have let me know. Don't you assume every single day, I'm going croissant moth. <laughs> no, you didn't have that much dedication when you asked me, what should I draw? Uh, you know, I go through ebbs and flows of feelings of like certainty and uncertainty. So it's really your fault for not following my flow. <laughs> Man. Is that what you call your mess of a life? Oh! A flow. Wow. <laughs> Rude. Let me see. Okay, so I want to test whether I want this to be on multiply. I think that's the way to go. We put the sketch on multiply and then we paint underneath it. So if there's any darkness on this layer, which there's plenty of, because the page is like dirty and uh, rugged, <laughs> shadowed, just a picture from my phone. So um, yeah, it'll it'll make the colors a little bit darker, but I'm fine with that. We're just gonna compensate. And I'm just playing around with some colors to see what I like right now. What I'm feeling. Are you feeling any colors yet, Anthony? Yeah, like baked good colors. I don't know. <laughs> None. Oh, see, I see what that. do you want from me? What Omer in the chat me? saying, come to France. We do the best croissants. Oh my goodness. I would very much love a French croissant. But I want to kind of, I feel like I should go with my dad now so that if I'm eating a croissant, I don't just send him a picture. I'm just like, here, you have the croissant. And he'd be like, whoa. But mine's better. 
you Wasn't know my there a Mickey Mouse about. episode that was about croissants? Yes. Oh my gosh, the newer animations. What are those called? I, I feel like there's a name for it where it's like Mickey in Paris or something. I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's great. It's so, so cute. And it's all about a croissant. Croissant. You know what I've been craving lately? Croissants. That. But Just also, like a random um, guess. <laughs> palmiers. Have you ever had them? What's a palmier? Is it a cookie? It's a flaky pastry that um, it, it's unique in the way that usually flaky pastries you have, they puff up. But with this one, you cut it and like it's basically like you roll the uh, laminated dough. So it's got all these layers, but it's rolled up into kind of like a heart shape where it's rolled from each end and meets. And then uh, you cut it and then you lay it down flat. So the layers are puffing outward like that on the pan instead of like up. So let me show you a picture. And usually they're with like um, butter, sugar and cinnamon. So they're like a cinnamony treat. Puff pastry. Mm. Palmier. Palmier. Alessandra in the chat saying hi, everyone. I love croissants and welcome back, Anthony. Thank you. Tell me about your favorite baked good. <laughs> My mom would go and get a package of these guys. Oh, yeah. Almost every week. And I remember just feeling like, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> like, all the time. If you wanted a snack, Anthony, you went upstairs before the stream and you're like, what should I grab as a quick snack? This. This is the snack. There are none in the house, but go that ahead. looks like one of the cookies that comes in the tins of cookies. Yeah. The little... I can see that. Yeah. But I think that's where I've had them. I feel like they're just fancier because they're basically like puff pastry, but they get really crisp. That's where I wonder if you would like them because I know you like soft things. <laughs> so Apparently we need palm trees while we eat them. It's a, a Hawaiian <laughs> dish. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, man. But yeah, Jake read in the chat. The sound off in the comments if you have had a palmier. And also, hello, Jake. How are you today? You having a good day? We're talking about palm trees and eating them. <laughs> Jake Green asks, are we on YouTube today? We are not. I just tried. <laughs> <laughs> so it reminds me of 30 Rock when they were like doing that live episode yeah. and they're like, that's called breaking and we don't do that here. And they're and also the like, picture falls off the nothing wall. goes wrong. <laughs> exactly. And they have like a timed picture fall so good oh man but yeah um <laughs> those are two different episodes anthony one of them is about tracy being like well no wait is it the live episode where he's like oh no i'm breaking <laughs> yeah i'm is pretty that sure the live one? Oh, man. there were two live episodes one for the east coast one for the west coast well and they did it for at least two seasons so there are several live episodes do you at remember at least the four john ham <laughs> having a. Uh, uh, the hand, hand. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like attacking him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, um, do you remember John Ham having a hand? Out of context, what is happening? <laughs> and he lost both of his hands because the helicopter. <laughs> well, the first one was the oven, and then the second one, he thought oh, he saw his hot. high school. Yeah, they were just in the <laughs> yeah. oven. It's the dummy now. Oh, gosh, so good. <laughs> you can't make lasagna with Gatorade. <laughs> just so pretty and so <laughs> dumb oh it's so good anyways watch 30 rock this is an advertisement completely <laughs> <laughs> what were you we talking about before oh uh palmiers so we were talking about um oh oh why we're not on youtube that's what happened <laughs> right <laughs> why Wine this rewind. isn't there <laughs> So, uh, OBS crashed early in the stream, so thanks for sticking with About us three if you're minutes those, in. you know, amazing OG viewers. Not only were Tara, you here early Annika, enough to myself. watch all of the, the fire go down, but also, um, the, uh, the stream can reconnect on Behance, and I was trying to reconnect it on YouTube, but it wasn't working, so what I'm gonna do after this is download this video from Behance, and if you are seeing this in the future on YouTube, know that you are very, very special because this was not live. This was not given to you, okay? You had to work for it, or rather, I had to work for it. And then you <laughs> saw it later, and it was the whole thing, and great job, and yes, re replay land forever. 
Mm-hmm. And it's why we're called Oops All Bloops. You know, you just got to roll with them punches. The second we, we went off the air, Anthony was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh, chaos. No. It's like, oh, we're not live? Weird. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I got a new appreciation. Thanks, Misha. If you're watching. Lurking. Uh, okay. So what I'm trying to do is kind of figure out colors, which is always an uh, iffy endeavor. I think I like these warm tones with a little pop of greeny green. Um, you know I love some good green stuff, like moss and all that kind of good things. So I'm down with the earth tones with this one. Uh, by the way, if you're just joining after our mishap, uh, we are painting this Mothman. This is a sketch from my sketchbook that I did quite a while back, and I just decided I want to paint him today. So what we're doing is we have our uh, sketch. This was just a picture taken from my phone of my sketchbook. And uh, I don't have a particularly good phone. That's the only sad part of this, is if I had a really good phone camera, then I could get like a nice, nice picture. But this is good enough. Don't so, you have a scanner? Yeah, but then it would take too much time. I did this literally like two seconds before we went live. So I think that's uh. kind of the benefit of having the phone. <laughs> um, but it's true that it's hey jake you appreciated something uh, hey hey jake is just going through and appreciating everything right now are you trying to he does that me? what's going on i like that sometimes like i'll it's... go to instagram and it's just a wall of jake green <laughs> <laughs> wait which account all of them yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you jake you're amazing <laughs> i'm gonna make the cape like browns and neutrals that's what i think Beep, bop, bop. Alessandra asks if we've ever had croissants filled with vanilla pudding. What? Okay, uh, the closest thing I can think of for that is cream horns, which I've had uh, from H Mart, and they are one of my favorite things. I think every time I go to H Mart, I have to get one. Um, and uh, if you don't know, H Mart is a local uh, like Asian food store, or I don't even know if it's local. Do you know? I don't know. I, I don't haven't seen it other places, yeah. but... I don't go to many grocery stores when I'm visiting other states. Oh my gosh, like I do. <laughs> my to-do mm -hmm. list of what are their stores like? I mean, if you're traveling for conferences and stuff, you gotta go get some food that's not expensive restaurants. So I have been to quite a Yeah, few. but do you go that far out to like Asian food markets? Loud car, sorry. Um, or do you just go to what's nearest the hotel? I go to either what's nearest or if I can find a Whole Foods, I always trust a Whole Foods because I know that they have like a hot food bar that I'm down with and uh, like I just I know what's there. Hopefully this will work. Hello and welcome. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Third time's a charm. OBS is a butt, you say. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's being a butt, but there's probably a reason. Like, I've neglected it somehow. I don't know. We'll see what the problem is. I just can't do it while streaming, unfortunately. Uh, but hey, we'll just... This makes us appreciate the time we have together, right? This is yeah. important. Yeah. And it marks my comeback, I think. It marks and your the, comeback. <laughs> Anthony came back and OBS was just so excited oh, it couldn't no. contain itself. <laughs> <laughs> Can't deal with it. Also, Jake Crean was in the chat saying his day is much better now that he's with friends. Oh, I'm so glad. Jake, have you been with enemies all day? What's going on? I'll beat them up for you. Do you need help? Anna knows karate. She has since, like, elementary school. Like, at least third grade, so... 
If I knew it back then, I should really know it now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> high kick, high kick. <laughs> There's probably nothing in karate that does high kicks, but hey, that's where I'm at with my knowledge. Um, but yeah, the thing I was talking about before, Whole Foods. Anyways, yeah, I can't cook uh, soup in my room. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral of the story is grab a morsel. Oh my gosh, when you're when you're traveling, just let me tell you. First of all, you have to take care of your stomach. Make sure you're not eating anything that would like really upset you or anything like that. Like salads are great if you can find a good salad place, but if it's iffy salad place, don't go there, man. Don't go there. I've thrown salads away because I'm like I ordered it, but it looks bad. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> Anthony's just like, oh, the other thing I have to say, which is kind of counter to what I said for the first thing is you have to give yourself a treat. Every single time I travel, I get something that I really just want from the corner store or whatever. It's Milano's go to. Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. Heckers. Yeah. If they don't have oh. palmiers, get some Milano. Oh, my gosh. They're so good. And then uh, the other thing that I found a deep, deep love for other than my Quaker rice snacks. Also, that was like a big deal um, when I was remember you, Mal. <laughs> but the big one was um, the cheesy smiles. Anthony, you know, we had them on the bed in our tiny, tiny, tiny room in New York. Oh, yeah. You remember that? We got like a bunch of different snacks. I think we got like Pringles, uh, fudge, something. Wait, oh, oh, were there the little Annie's Bunnies crackers? Like the little graham crackers? They're little bunnies. They hop in that sounds mouth. familiar. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Kind? Oh my gosh, my mouth's watering. So, yeah. Numinos. Oh, whatever they're called. <laughs> Numinos or Newman's owns are the like equivalent of Oreos, but they're made from Newman's brand, which they're real good. Anyways, yeah, treat yourself when you go traveling. Just gotta say. It makes it easier, but treat yourself to things that won't give you traveler's diarrhea. Traveler's diarrhea. <laughs> is that a thing? Is that a name That's for a anything? real thing in <laughs> Oh <It is. laughs> my goodness. But that um it, it the idea is you don't want to be um, uncomfortable, but you also want to treat yourself. So there you go. Boom. Yeah. I think the traveler's part is uh, when you go to different parts of the world that your body just isn't used to, sometimes it just makes your immune system. Oh, uh, it's like, oh, it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I got this. I'll poop everything out. <laughs> that was a close one, huh? Thanks, body. <laughs> Yeah, woo! Wouldn't have survived without you, buddy. Thanks. Ibrahim's in the uh, chat. Hey, Hello. Ibrahim, what's up? How you doing today? You having a good time? And Jay Green says, I know Anna is a karate expert. <laughs> karate. I mean... Also, Anthony Jackson in the chat. Anthony Jackson, what's up? How are you? Saw you in Ryan's chat. Have you had a good day so far? Uh, by the way, Ryan Selvey was uh, streaming earlier today. If you didn't catch that, check the replays, babies. What was he streaming today? I think I saw Annika in the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, Annika's face was up there. I don't. We were talking about it in the chat. I was like, oh, I spotted a while, Annika. And she was like, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> why he's using... I think it was her and Randall he was using the avatar faces of as like the background to what he was making. Um... And it was a transition. He's working on his branding and he's making it all space themed, which is super cool. Uh, and if you don't know, Ryan is a master whiz at uh, master, master whiz. Oh, I love it. I'm going to wait, Joe. <laughs> oh, my brain's going so many places right now. <laughs> Joe. Whiz. Joe. Palace, Joe. Are you where impressed? Are you? I know where it is. Wait, what it is? <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, he's an amazing uh, After Effects mover of things I, I was gonna say animator but then motion graphics people usually like you know motion graphics um so anyways hey tyler gibson what's up <laughs> oh my gosh you're awesome tyler just became a patron the other day hi tyler thank you so much and there's also... balance in the universe thank you tyler <laughs> <laughs> what and level also, uh 
it. Tyler says, I've been watching on YouTube for months now, and I finally catch a live show. Stoked. That is so cool. And also, you got <laughs> here on the day that YouTube failed. So, like, Did what you go luck? to YouTube, see, like, a three-minute <laughs> video, and then head over here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what's happening? It looks like they've struggled us, and, like, we are. <laughs> but not because of, like us it's just obs decided to crash and obs is a free program that does so many wonderful things but is also it, it wants to do something it gets to do something because it's free <laughs> i have no recourse i can't complain to a customer service department it just does what it wants you know i could role play that for you i don't like the sound of that i'll be the obs customer service what would Do you, you want... say? Go ahead. Start. <laughs> Wait, this isn't... You gotta set it up. Ring, ring. <laughs> ring, ring. Banana phone. That's how I pick it up. Uh, that's how I answer. Wait. I just keep doing the Who's ring picking... sound to confuse the customer. Ring, No, ring. I'm working on my voice acting, so like, try to make it as very, very convincing as possible. Like... <laughs> You want me to make like a ring noise? <laughs> like as Is that what's happening? A ring noise as you possibly can. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh. <sighs> <laughs> Is that like a future old style phone? It's like retro <laughs> futurism. <laughs> Don't <laughs> I forgot this is what we do oh, on this yes. stream. <laughs> what we I, do. Um, I really put a dent in your productivity. Yeah. I like crying from happiness, so oh, it's fine. <laughs> What's her name? I can't think <sighs> of it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, did the, did the cat swallow the phone? <laughs> oh my god. Cardi B! Jake, Cardi B! Jake, did you steal the other half of my brain? Because I feel like you always know what I'm talking about, but like more so than I do. How? What? Maybe he took each half of our brains, and that's why we're so like half brained oh, and Jake half is full brain. And he's like two full brains. He's our power. I got it all! <laughs> Oh, Lee. Jake Green is our mind child. <laughs> I don't know if he likes that. I don't know. Oh, look at our lineless friend. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Wait, no, the whole point was you're going to keep the lines. Ah, but you <laughs> didn't know that I cannot go against my ways. What color is the croissant oh going to be? Ooh. Is it going to be a moth croissant? So it could be like blue or something. Maybe that would make it look like a caterpillar. <laughs> Capitiller. Mm. It's my baby. It's my baby. <laughs> Do you want to wheeze that at me again? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to send you a video. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, two okay. videos. I need to send you two whole videos. Woo! Okay, so... That's 50% more than it was. <laughs> yeah, it's going up. Oh, I have three. No, I have Oh, two. wait, is it 100% more when it's one to two? I mean, if you're comparing it to the first offer, yes. I 100% increased my offer. You get two. Thank you. Um, but if we're talking minute by minute, I mean, whoo, it's getting in the weeds. Um, anyways, so what was I going to say? So there are two videos that I watched this morning that I think you would enjoy. <laughs> One of them is just for the pure ridiculousness and random activities. Um, not really activities. It's more the way that the activities are done. Um <laughs> And that's Get to it. Good Mythical Morning. They uh, tried to drink as much Monster as they possibly could. Monster Energy. Oh, drink. no. And what color chaos. was their pee? <laughs> I don't know that part, which is actually like they would tell you. <laughs> Maybe listen to the podcast afterward. And they'll be like, okay, so it was. Da, 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 da. But anyways, um, no, it was just chaotic in the best way. And... Uh, <laughs> 
the other one was the Try Guys go to the Gentle Barn. Oh, I saw that Did one this morning. I watched it? it when I was eating breakfast. I want to cuddle with a cow so badly. I said to the Gary, so and I was like, is there one of these locally? Seriously? No, I, I believe there probably is in Oregon. I think I looked them up once upon a time, and I think Marin actually recommended one to go to. Oh, um, she would. She would know. Of course Marin would know. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those. She works at an animal behavioral clinic, so yeah, <laughs> she's like an expert. On where we cuddle farms are, are located. I need a professional cuddle farm, please. I'll take one, no, two cuddle farms. I think you get a glass of warm milk while you cuddle the cow, oh and it's from the cow. So See, the way I like was told about it, thing. I think I first saw it with uh, Julian Solomita. Uh, he was, um, he got so enamored with one of the cows that he actually got her tattooed on him. It was so cute. But anyways, Aww. um... Yeah, it was kind of like a trade-off where, like, you get to cuddle the animals, but then you also kind of work at the farm to do something to, like, help out. So if you want to go muck a stall with me and then, like, get our cuddle on or vice versa, let's do it. I'm well, down. let's cuddle the animal first, You I really don't want to clean it. Well, I don't want to be covered in animal poop while I hug a cow. I would rather hug Why a cow not? and then be covered in animal poop. Oh, okay. It's all about the order. I think it would be rude to the cow to just be like, here am I. <laughs> here am I, friend. Come cuddle. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, I you... have the full-on stink lines and flies. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I? And the cow's like, moo. <laughs> away. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, that video was priceless. And all the kids, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy for them. Like, as a four-year-old or whatever the the little girl was, if I was hugging a cow, I would just be in heaven. I mean, now as well, but I'm just saying as a kid. <sighs> what would you name some of the cows? They had some good names. They did. Holy oh, cow. Hero, the horse. <laughs> hero, yeah. Huh. Um... I mean, it has to come in the moment. You gotta look in the eyes of the cow. But yeah, I agree with all their naming choices. Mm. Jake Green says, the full-on wheeze weirdo is killing me. <laughs> Jake goes on to say, I'm having college flash flashbacks, lol, from those times I stayed up for like four days straight, speaking of energy drinks. And Tyler says, mm -hmm. they actually did a pee challenge on Good Mythical Morning to see how much volume each do stored. I've seen that one as well. <gasps> Who was the wiener? <laughs> <laughs> we all won. <laughs> I think just how much ridiculous stuff they do on that show, we all always win. <laughs> oh my gosh. But one of the commenters, um, <laughs> They did a very, uh, it's interesting. Okay, so let me tell you a little backstory. So uh, one of their episodes, apparently I just learned, got banned from YouTube. And I thought immediately, oh, I know the one. And it was the <laughs> one where they uh, read their fan fiction that people uh, had written about them on the internet. And they went full, yeah. like, explicit everything. And the whole Heck challenge yeah. for them was that they had to read it aloud. And it was so... Oh my god. That's gotta be archived was... somewhere. Oh. But the thing is, that wasn't the one. It wasn't the one that was taken. Oh, I'm looking it up after this. You have to watch it. It's freaking over the top. Only if you're above 18, like, whoa. But, um, and also mentally sound, because, like, um, but anyways, yeah, the the uh what was i gonna say oh the, the one that got episode. banned it was because yeah. they were eating things that were not supposed to be consumed
Hey, and we're back. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, everybody seeing your call or your uh, praises for OBS in the chat. <laughs> Uh, I am so sorry that the stream keeps crashing. It's uh, it's completely just OBS. I will as many uh, as much as it needs fix this after this. Like I will try to do my best to make sure this never happens again. I was in the middle of something. Um, the oh, mythical morning, the band episode. Their band episode. Yeah, they were eating things that weren't intended to be eaten, so they were taken down. Oh, it says poor network connection. Okay, 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 okay. Um. <laughs> It keeps coming back at the exact moment. Anthony says wiener. Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So. I hope it's like that in the replay. <laughs> Just wiener, wiener, <laughs> cheeky dinner. Oh my gosh, what's the replay going to be like? Oh no. Oh, oh, I'm excited so for bad. it. It's going to be one of my favorites. recording the episode through OBS so that I can. Wait. Yeah, that crash? should help OBS. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. More work, OBS. Okay, this, this is, is your the last episode for us. <laughs> this is the bad one. What should we eat? <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to eat a croissant. That seems a like a forbidden well. food to That's... me right now. Oh, poor boy. <laughs> it's not forbidden. It's for good ones. Yeah. Yeah, but there's just none available. So Go to my like... dad's. <laughs> He'll make one for from scratch. He'll just just one, one big it. one. Can we get bigger croissants? Can we ask him for a big croissant? I want that as the cake on Paul's birthday on Sunday. Just one big croissant. <laughs> <laughs> I have a request for someone else's birthday. Do you think we could do Let that actually <laughs> on Friday? Let's try to make one huge croissant. I have never the, made a the croissant, pot. sir, and I am not confident in, in the ability to do so. The, what did I get? <laughs> you sound like you're breathing really heavy. <laughs> Get it together, man. <laughs> what are you saying? The two pots that I got you. The blue ones. Two pots that I got. I'm still, I'm still sitting <laughs> from the floor. Oh, I'm Cardi B. That makes you <laughs> J-Lo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I'm J-Lo. So, hey, I'm J-Lo. Um, Cast iron skillet. Dutch Closer. oven. Good job. <laughs> Anthony got no, that was going to be my guess two cast after iron that. Pan Wait, golly! You got <laughs> yeah! Dutch oven. I got two Dutch ovens. I could fit one Dutch oven in my Whoa. other Dutch oven in my real oven, and then I <laughs> so triple woke. baked whatever. It's like a Russian nesting doll, but <laughs> hot. <laughs> I'm a Russian me. nesting doll mixed with a hot potato. <laughs> Dutch <laughs> ovens. <laughs> what? Mixed with a cast iron pan, please. Uh, <coughs> I'm dying. Ooh. Mm. Uh, Anthony Jackson says it's not your last episode; it's my last episode. What? What? What is happening? Nobody's what? last episode. Oh, we're being simulcasted. Oh, hello, Prepare Adobe yourself. Live. Get ready. We'll OBS crash in crashing. front of all of you. <laughs> so, hey, if you're just joining the stream, I'm a, a children's book illustrator. Today, I'm painting the sketch for my sketchbook, which is a little Mothman um, or a lady. Honestly, I. I I didn't even consider gender, but anyways, uh, they, them, uh, non-binary friend, and uh, we are crashing regularly. <laughs> not us. We're not doing anything wrong, okay? It's okay. I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> so just get ready for that, and if we fall out, we will be back in like five seconds. It just takes a little second click, click, click to connect. Wiener. So... <laughs> If Anthony continually says one word, which happens to be wiener for some reason, uh, then just refresh the page until we come back and we will be back. And also, if you just don't want to be here, that's totally fine. Give the video a like and peace out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Uh, but we're trying our hardest, so I hope you try your hardest, too. Uh, uh, Did you watch, you watch Godzilla when it was on HBO? Uh, Godzilla when it was on HBO. Yes. King yeah. Kong versus Godzilla. That one. Yeah. with Or did you see the one with Mothra? No, I didn't see a Mothra one. Was there a Mothra one already? I didn't think uh, there was one out. I love yeah, Mothra. It's, I think it's Godzilla King of Monsters. Godzilla. That one might still be on HBO. Um, You should oh watch gosh, it. I, it's, it. I mean, the story's oh. okay, but the visuals. like okay. Mothra looks amazing. Maybe just watch the trailer. You can see Mothra in the trailer. You don't have to watch the full thing. Anyways, you're excited. What are you going to say? Oh, I was just going to talk about like what I've been watching on HBO lately. Um, but I want Craig of the Creek. Oh, Craig of the Creek. Uh, just like a druid. I have already caught all the way up, so I'm good. Um, you should watch it. 
all of it. It's I've so been good. watching it. Ashley and I watched an episode uh, after we tried watching Space Jam: New Legacy. <laughs> I quite a decree. It tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Space Jam: New Legacy. <laughs> we tried. It had some funny bits, Tell but it was just kind of tough to get through. Not your fave. Beep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I want to hear about that. We okay chat anthony has been working so hard lately that we really haven't gotten to talk about much stuff so like we might just be a little blabby for a sec so um i have been watching the ghibli movies that i have never seen before because I the anniversary for spirited away was yesterday no way 20th anniversary spirited anniversary how cool i know we're gonna have to watch it we need to twice make a cake to make up for Haku it <laughs> and one giant croissant dyed blue and two giant pigs yes <laughs> From the gentle which one's your mother which one's your father <laughs> Good choose luck. wisely <laughs> oh my gosh um but, but yeah uh, the yeah. uh the ones that we watched okay so i started with whisper of the heart which i have seen before oh, but i rewatched because so it's just mm, yeah country Look roads it. take me home please <laughs> um and then uh after that heart. the cat returns and also which is the sequel spin-off to the whisper totally of the heart it's totally departed but it's got the baron so that's one character yeah i guess spin-off would be more appropriate in that. Uh, it's yeah it's like a spiritual successor where it's like it's got something from it but it's not really what so speaking of whisper of the heart they announced <laughs> last year or something that they're coming out with a sequel that's going to be live action uh, for Se Whisper of the Heart? What? Yeah. What? It was either going to be live action or it was going to be a stage production. Either way, what? I was like, that's so fascinating and I want to see it. Oh, no, wait. I think it was a live action movie and Dark Crystal said they were going to come out with a stage production. That is crazy. Okay, well, that's two big things of news. What? Um, but also, I feel like... Okay, out of all the Ghibli films that would be live action and worth reproducing, I guess, um, I would say... It's very Slice the of Life. Good. Yeah, exactly. I really enjoy it. It's not my favorite, but it's also, like, really good. Yeah. Um, it's probably whereas, just easier. Like, Up on Poppy Hill was the one where it was, like, it's in the realistic world, but I didn't really enjoy it, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but then... Uh, when the, Marnie was there. What? Oh, when Marnie was there. But that oh, has some good. fantasy. Oh, well, it's... It's, it's kind of Whisper of the film. Heart E, where there's like magical moments, but it's still like real movie. Absolutely. I'm thinking about like difficulty of producing. Like if they want to produce something that's pretty simple and straightforward, uh, Whisper of the Heart is, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, well, I want to see it. I want to see all of the things. Um, although I will always hold to animation is probably the highest form it's ever going to achieve, but I'm fine with seeing it in multiple different ways. Um, and then we watched uh, My Neighbor the Yamadas, which honestly, I we still haven't finished the last like few minutes because we were going to bed when it was uh, on, and it was like, <laughs> okay, it's really late. We probably shouldn't finish it, even though we have like a little bit left. Uh, so I still need to finish it, but it was really, really cute, and I was not expecting to uh, enjoy it as much as I did, honestly. The art style is so such a departure. Absolutely. Well, it was a different director. It was not completely Hayo. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to see Ghibli. I don't really... I, I'm not caring about Hayo right now. I love Hayo's work, obviously, but I'm just, like, I want to experience everything that Ghibli has to offer. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless, like, not trying to compare it. But um, My Neighbor the Yamadas was such a lovely surprise because I've heard a lot of people be like, oh, yeah, and that one. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was such a fun... It's very like, cute. ...comic strip style of yeah. humor. Yeah. Uh, that's what James immediately came up with. He's been reading a lot of Calvin and Hobbes, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, this is like a it comic is. Strip it's animated. very much, yeah." Uh, and I just found it so charming. And the I only watched it the one show. time, but yeah, I need to revisit it because I remember liking it when I watched it. I was like, "This is a departure from what I'm used to from Ghibli," because I started later. Like Yamada's was 1990s, wasn't it? I think I so. I have no idea. So the, I got started with like Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, and all their subsequent films like Ponyo and um, Ponyo, Ponyo, little fishy. What was after Ponyo? Uh, Mary and the Witch. When Marnie? When Those Pon Studio Ponic. Oh, you're right. Uh, anyway, so it was fun watching the Yamadas because I was like, "This is Ghibli, but it's so different feeling." Oh yeah, Princess Kaguya. 
was another example oh, of yeah, kind yeah. of breaking outside of the traditional animation style for Ghibli. Absolutely. And like just yeah, like giving themselves the themselves the uh breath to tell whatever they want. I just love it when it feels like somebody had a really clear vision and they just went for it regardless of what's been created before in the studio. Uh, and that felt like my neighbor, the Yamadas. But that's an older one, so it probably didn't have as much pressure as the newer ones. There was another older one that I watched recently that I didn't really like all that much. Beautiful animation, but it was just teenage drama, mm -hmm. weird love triangle kind of thing. And I was like, oh, this is so boring, but it's so pretty. <laughs> and I'm dedicated to watch Studio Ghibli films, so I'll give it a chance. I guess it's called fine. Ocean Waves. Uh, oh yeah, Ocean Waves. You were telling me about that one. Uh, but I think I want to watch Kaguya before that. My goal is to watch all of them, but if I don't have time, then I think I'm going to go Kaguya first. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, uh, Jake Green says I need to go watch all the Ghibli films I haven't seen. Yes! Oh my gosh. I, You know when you haven't <laughs> seen something and you kind of assume things of it, and it's like, oh, I kind of know what that's going to be like. Maybe based off of a recommendation or just like your idea from the trailer of what it would be when it's different from that it's such a lovely surprise <laughs> you're just kind of like oh oh i wouldn't have known had i not given it a chance so always give it a chance especially from creators that you love um another thing that has ghibli vibes to me is the real kuma stop motion that they had on netflix did Absolutely. you watch all of that i did not watch all of it i watched a few episodes though <clears throat> and i loved did vibes. we watch them together uh we watched a few episodes together i think me you and Corinne. Oh yeah, that sounds familiar. Are those the only ones that you would see? Uh, I've seen a few more, but oh, okay. I need to watch. It's a very them. short season. I think it's like ten episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but... I just need to finish it. It's Netflix. See, this yeah, is the thing is, once I lose like the train of something, it's like off my mind. <laughs> it's like I have to get into a hardcore routine of watching it to get it all through. Like uh, maintenance phase, when I uh, caught up with that, I stopped listening to it for quite a while. Now I'm just like re listening oh, to new episodes. The last one I listen to with salary juice what there, what have i missed there are more now <laughs> <laughs> oh wait was oprah after salary juice or was that oprah is after salary juice okay <laughs> by the so, way uh... maintenance phase is a great podcast go listen to it <laughs> oprah was the last one i heard i think before i dropped off and then i picked up svs podcast and i've been binge listening to that while i work on this project so you know i've heard a ton of it <laughs> <laughs> yes. i'm almost to present day and i started in 2018 oh my gosh that's a lot. But yeah, that uh, that's a great one to binge as well, especially if you're interested in art or children's books, all that stuff. Even more than that, I feel like the topics that are kind of ancillary to illustration as a career touch in multiple facets of just being a freelancer or a creative in the industry at large. So right. listening to that podcast is like very informative and I've actually been using it as research for website stuff so oh, yeah taking lots of notes and it's just been really good and insightful to have three people that have kind of gone through a lot of market research themselves and then you don't have to do as much because this is the research you're doing absolutely they're just paying it forward like here you go i did the work here's everything that came of it yeah so good i absolutely agree um, so yeah, that's what I've been listening to most recently. But were those the uh, last Ghibli movies that you watched? Was My Neighbors the Yamada and Whisper of the Heart? Uh, the cat re Cat's Return, yeah. Cat's Return. And what was on your list after that, uh, Yamada's? Kaguya. Uh, I was considering Ocean Waves, but if you think that's lower on the I list. I mean, it's definitely lower on the list. It's my least favorite, won't ever watch again Ghibli film. Wow. But I did watch it because I wanted to watch the Ghibli film. Um, I think on HBO they also have a movie that I saw a couple of years ago in theater called The Night is Long Girl Walk On. I've heard of that. That one's pretty fun. Uh, experimental anime.
talking to me and it just rattles my brain <laughs> so much but then i remembered the mute tab button oh my gosh yes mute Ooh. the tab please the limit does not exist <laughs> the limit does not exist <laughs> hello and welcome back i think we're live Woohoo! um hey what day is again. it october what day is it game time <laughs> wait what <laughs> It's October 24th. Confusing. <laughs> In Mean Girls, on October 24th, he asked me, what day is it? What day was it? <laughs> Does the chat know? This is the quiz. Don't Google it. You have to know oh. in your little gray cells. Just it's like an honor system. Christy, one of the Mean Girls would say. Did you? I was gonna send you a link that uh, they have an Agatha Christie Young Hercule Prowo game coming out in the fall. Oh, what? <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> We're watched. totally playing it. It looks so like B movie scale. <laughs> what? Like B movie Jerry Seinfeld B movie? Sorry, I don't. Maybe that's the wrong turn of phrase. What? You know, when it's not like a triple A title, that's oh. a video game thing, which is funny <laughs> because I'm trying to come up the equivalent of like a lower rate video game. Uh... But what's it called yeah. when uh, a AAA title is a movie? Or the Indie actors film? that are in it? Like, you call it B-list actor? Is that the thing? Golly, that sounds so offensive. Sure. It does. Is that a thing? <laughs> anyway, that's what I was going with with B-movie. With the B-list actor, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. The only confusing thing in that sentence is B. Was the entire thing? I don't think there was a period was or a comma. B, like buzz, 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 buzz. And then yeah, I because, thought immediately. Uh, of you're trying them off. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're all in that insect brain. <laughs> Got my insect brain on. <laughs> um. Uh, oh. Shake says it's July. I think it was March. And Annika <laughs> says, okay, what's the name of the podcast you're listening to, Anthony? The chat wants to know. Oh, SVS. I have a link and everything. Wait, Anna, you were going to say something? Thank you, Annika. Uh, no, I wasn't going to say anything. Go listen to uh, uh, Three Point Perspective by uh, the guys who founded uh, SVS, which is a society of visual storytelling. Boom. Nailed it. A lot of us. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm nervous, you know? You haven't been here for a while. I'm trying to impress you. <laughs> Well, how's your pit situation? When I get nervous, <laughs> <laughs> it's dripping. <laughs> um, you don't want to know. Um, I just watched the episode of Bob's Burgers uh, called Classic. Aquaticism. Yeah, I know. Breaking back the re Bob's Burgers reviews <laughs> during the stream. <laughs> hey, what was the most recent episode of Bob's Burgers you watched? Anthony? Uh, aquaticism. <laughs> Amazing. Continue. It was about the kids going to the pier and there's this local aquarium that was shutting down because it wasn't getting a lot of attraction. And the person that ran it, it was only a very small aquarium with one person that ran it, tried to make her own jewelry and sell it in the gift shop, but that didn't drive in customers. Uh, so the kids were there and they were coming up with ideas of how to save the aquarium and to avoid paying taxes, they were going to convert it to like a religious oh no thing, so that they wouldn't have to pay taxes and she could save money and use that to like keep it open yeah just like so they come up with aquaticism oh, no. and it gets flagged by the irs so they send out an agent to like investigate yes invest what aquaticism is and he kind of gets a little crush on the woman who's running the Aww. aquarium so ever, it was yeah it was pretty fraud, cute yeah. so he was like okay no aquaticism yeah i'll give it a try oh, <laughs> and so no. he like wants to convert to aquaticism but the kids mainly louise is like no if this goon stays around then we won't be able to like keep up this charade we want this to be an aquarium charade. not really a church so how do we like get him to not want to do this so they come up with like some weird um initiation practices oh, no <laughs> hazing yeah so like scare him away from it <laughs> and i think it works for like a second and he just like fills out the paperwork and um somehow it becomes like a, a singles mixer thing where <laughs> oh it was on the calendar for like the the list of the aquaticism events and there was going to be like a singles mixer 
because uh, I don't know when you're trying to become a religion, I guess you have to show that you actually have like get togethers of some sort, but <laughs> he shows interest yeah. in the singles mixer and he's like, Oh yeah, I'll go to that. Um, and at the singles mixer, he like decides to fully convert because he wants to like impress her. Oh, and so no based off the initiation process process of what the kids had told him he climbs into the jellyfish tank oh no and the episode is like they're like wait don't do it don't do it no this is fraud this is fraud we're just trying to get away so, but he's like already submerged in the tank he's like wait did you just say this is fraud <laughs> And then he's like, these aren't even stinging me. Is this whole thing fake? Are these jellyfish fake? <laughs> and then he's like, oh, oh no, they are stinging me. And then oh, it like no. cuts to like three weeks or t one week later. And uh, the kids are going to the IRS office <laughs> to apologize and give him a get well soon card. Um, oh my God. And the person he had a crush on was like, okay, I'm sorry. Like, this was a horrible yeah, misunderstanding. Whoops, and I was just like, I take everything back. Um, and the kids go to the office to tell him sorry and all that. And he kind of confides in them that he had a crush on the woman that worked there. And they were like, you did? She had a crush on you. Aww, like, cute. Kind of. So you got to, like, try to make it work. You can't be nervous. and make it work can't be nervous you go back there and blah 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 anyway he got nervous when he was talking to her and that's what that tangent was about <laughs> so i'm sweating <laughs> how about you are you I sweating like it was in going on pool? like for six minutes yeah, how long was, was i telling that story of <laughs> was it Thanks the full length that. of the episode <laughs> i could play all the characters next time it was october 3rd thank you tara oh my gosh uh the limit does not exist uh, <laughs> um also uh annika is asking isn't jake parker uh one of the three people indeed he is if you know jake's work uh it's jake parker lee white and will terry are the three who do the podcast uh jake says anthony is very good at retelling bob burgers <laughs> I, don't know. I would really I like to be see a recreation with you me being the characters like give me your best tina no, no, I can't do the voices. Oh, come now. Try. You can't do anything unless you try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate. I don't watch the show. She's but much more job. like deadpan and like Panaton. <laughs> it's the nervous thing she does. Please it's like her nervous her tick. for the rest of the stream. <laughs> I'm in character. And then is oh, it Christine Shaw who does Louise's voice? You know, Hazel from 30 Rock. Oh my gosh, yes. Iconic. And Mabel from Gravity Falls. Yeah, I mean, that's... I can't do her voice. I mean, that's... that's I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, I mean, just that's can't. just ridiculous. I have to have a line to even try. It's like, Liz Lemon. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. I could have seen what you were going for. <laughs> if you were to be like, this is a 30 Rock character, <laughs> and this is the one line I'm going to give you, I would have been like, Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> so good job i wouldn't have known it was christian uh -oh, shawl i'm breaking i would have known it was uh oh <laughs> was my picture falling <laughs> wait what character am i now? <gasps> did you just break something it's fine <laughs> i was fidgeting with my volume controller and i threw it off the desk because i wiggled it too aggressively <laughs> Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> That's so perfect because during three point perspective, Lee always fidgets with something. And when oh it was gosh, cameraless, he was like, oh no, I got my finger stuck. I got my like finger something. stuck. I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> but then they turn the camera it's cutting off the so circulation. I have to get a pair of scissors and cut it off. That's what happened. <laughs> Then you could see oh, him Lee, and all of his favorite. fidgeting, and it was great. Oh my god, Hilarious. he's such a highlight to that podcast. Oh, please, he the makes me laugh everything. so much. <laughs> so good. Oh, I don't have it just on this. There we go. Uh, by he the has way, hair now, and it freaks me out. When he was at the art institute, he was shaved all. He was shaved. He was shaved okay. bald, like a like a normal person. Like a normal and now he has hair and wears glasses all the time. I'm like, who 
is this Who man? Who are you? Oh my gosh. He looks Just, by younger. The way, uh, if you don't know, we're talking about this podcast. Aging backward. Uh, we, we one of the podcasters, Lee White, was a or teacher Antonio of Blanco. Oh my gosh, <laughs> was a teacher at the Art Institute where we went uh, in Portland, and uh, also he was my mentor during the Adobe Creative Residency. So we've got a a history, uh, history. and he's amazing, and you should go just learn from him because he always has something to teach. But also, he Smoky used to shave time. his head and. I, yeah. I mean, he was skateboarding all the time and doing... Uh, still does, I guess. What's the Frisbee golf? Still does that. Frisbee golf is what it's called. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called Frisbee golf. I feel it's like offensive to thing. call it froth. Oh my gosh. Okay, well then take <laughs> it He back. didn't like it when Jake and Will did it. He's like, this all is right. so unfair. You guys don't play a sport that has a stupid nickname. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I want to rewind the word, so I'm going to say it backwards, so... Florf. Florf. That's the anti froth. Is that? Oh, there it is. You wrote it out. Yeah, I did. The anti one. <laughs> <laughs> What's golf backwards? Oh, no. F L O G. Florg. Flog. 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 It's just flog. flog. It's flog. Oh. It's flog. It's flog. <laughs> you, try to th- <laughs> you try to read things backwards and you just have to do that voice with it. It's like when you're talking to a dog. <laughs> Who's a good hey, boy? Buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who booty? What? Florg. Who booty? Uh, <laughs> Wait, screenshot it. You could put it in the compilation of all the naughty <laughs> the ones. Compilation? You get. <laughs> oh, I like the way you said that word. Um, by the way, it is monkey toss time. Everybody. Did you know he White says algorithm funny? Algorithm? What? what he says say? a logarithm. A logarithm? He just says it wrong. No, <laughs> he I like, like that. puts the letter in the wrong place. Maybe it's right. Who knows? No, it's literally not. I always doubt myself before Lee. <laughs> I Wait, will is say a logarithm, logarithm now. Is he saying a logarithm? Does he not know it's one algorithm? <laughs> Maybe it's I have to a call logarithm. him. Algorithm. A logarithm. I'll write into the podcast. <laughs> the music stopped. Is that a precursor to the um, OBS milk. going? Ah, oh, don't say that. Uh, algorithm. Yeah, that's how you spell it, right? Can there be a dance okay, dance so revolution algorithm? where you play Al Gore rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. And he's all dressed up in like techno sci fi. <laughs> oh my gosh. The song okay, so... <laughs> Drop a Beat. <laughs> <laughs> and then we rap about the inconvenient truths of the Could world. we have, like, clips of him talking about how, like, our oceans are rising and stuff over music? Where it's just like, by the year 2020. Oceans are blah, rising. Blah, blah. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's like when they have clips of talking over songs. Anyways, uh, I want to give oh, it yeah, yeah, just yeah. a moment of time to think about how he's saying it. So it's algorithm. But yeah, then he's saying, he's saying a logarithm. So it's just yeah. the mix up of the g and the o yeah yeah all right which there is a thing called a logarithm oh uh, yeah a logarithm yeah Log- so go- i think it? maybe that's oh what he's Log- confused by logarithm. potentially <laughs> anyway it's fun because he says it multiple times <laughs> or a quantity representing the power to which a fixed number the base must be produ- uh, produ- raised, raised to produce <laughs> A given number. <laughs> I'm here ragging on Lee. I can't even read words, man. Like, just shut it down. Shut it all down. Uh, no, we're not ragging on him. It's just a fun thing. It is a fun thing, but it's monkey pot. Sorry. I say pillow, so. Oh my gosh. You, was, you say milk. Yeah. Where are you going to drink your milk? On, on the pillow. Ew. While you're cuddling a cow. It's like a fancy pillow. A cushion. Move a fancy over, pillow. Anthony. <laughs> I need more cow. Okay, so needs more.
I wrote a list. A list? Jake really? Said you nine. wrote a list? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Eight. Anthony Jackson said five. I think Anthony Jackson reassessed his number <laughs> after like the fifth time. <laughs> I love it after the fifth time. <laughs> yeah. Are we doing monkey paws? So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do monkey paws. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Are we back? Can everybody see me? Can everybody hear me? Name that. Lavender. <laughs> Lilac. Ugh. Oh God! <laughs> but I knew the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's almost like magic. Uh. <laughs> So it says we have a port network connection. Let's go, Great. baby. Let's do it. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to do a set of stretches called monkey paws. I am asking you kindly to follow along with me so that you can get a little chance to relax your, well, more like stretch yourself. Okay? Stretch yourself. So Which first people step, often tell you not to do. Don't stretch yourself. But you should. Stretch yourself very thin, and then you'll be super flexible. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is first put our hands out in front of our faces. What? <laughs> Arms straight, fingers to the sky, palms away. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Don't barf. Okay, and then we curl our fingers into what we call a monkey paw. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Oh, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I'm sorry, I, I, said, I said the wrong word. Don't hork. Don't hork it up. What did you say? I said barf. Oh, who are you? Who am I? Who even am I? When's the last time you played Animal Crossing? Like yesterday. <laughs> oh. I've been rearranging my flowers, Anthony. Keep up. Okay, so. <laughs> Second pose is we put our fingers to the ground, palms towards ourselves, and then we curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. Great job. This is not live. Is it? Live. Okay. Is it live? Are we there? Are we here? Uh, do we exist? We... If no one's yeah. watching, do we talk to each other? No, no, it's there. All right, and then third pose, we flip our palms out, fingers down this time, and then curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. Great job. That's not the right pose, and you're cracking. <laughs> ah! I'm breaking, I'm breaking. You're the fallen picture. Uh, okay, yeah. and then for the final pose, we put our fingers to the sky, palms towards ourselves, and then we curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Did your elbows crack today? Today? Absolutely. Oh, uh, I mean, monkey paws. Oh, not when I did that. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're going to repeat <laughs> the poses uh, and hold them for about a second each to give ourselves yeah. a nice stretch. Oh my gosh, this microphone is just <laughs> in my way. Uh, You'll have to project now. Hello! <laughs> Am I loud enough? Probably too loud. Uh, so, Jake says, what day is it? I feel like I blacked out. This is the know. fourth stream. We all exist in a timeless void. Enjoy it. Just soak up the the smell, whatever smell we have around us. What do you smell? I have my air purifier on, which I'm greatly enjoying. And oh, you got an air purifier? It's yeah, there. we got an air picture. Purifier. Where is it? Right. Where should you put it? What I color is the? I want to get eyes on it before I send you a picture. You're gonna see it on oh, Friday. Come on. We need to name it. Oh, it's gone. Are you gonna make the goo? <laughs> <laughs> It purified the air so well, it got rid of itself. You don't need me anymore. You're pure. <laughs> <laughs> Escape into the nether. Oh my god. That's gosh, where we so... go. It, yeah, that's where we go. Come on. Every time the stream I'm goes down, we say hi to the air purifier. I'm just going to drive my realm. air purifier. I'm out, Evi. <laughs> okay, so, uh, no, we, we use it in different rooms now. Uh, we don't have it on all the time. It's basically just every once in a while when we feel like we want pure air. <laughs> or I, I smelled a bad smell, and so I turned it on. Gone in a second. It was amazing. Sammy had a rotten potato on her shelf. Speaking no! of bad smells, you know how much I hate oh that. Oh my gosh, rotting potatoes are the <gasps> worst smell. Just the worst. Probably next to like human carrion, but I have not smelled that. Oh my place, gosh! So. <laughs> <laughs> <I> just... <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> just like that was much. I feel like. <laughs> That's not that much. Human carrion? You're just talking about <laughs> human corpses sitting around? That's when you yeah, that's gonna that. smell bad, Anthony. That's like famously but the right next smell. to potatoes. Right next to potatoes. I mean, like ah, uh, that's close. You that's don't know your close. roommates that well. Bad smells abound. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, rotten potatoes. Are the worst. 
<laughs> I hope that those got cleaned up right quick. Yeah, uh, so it got worse. Like, no! I was searching for the smell, oh, and it was no. a bag of fingerling potatoes, oh, and I so picked it up to smell it, and brown and green juice just fell out onto me. Oh, onto my you? God, yeah. Oh, it it's... hit my leg and foot, oh. and all over the floor. Orc. So I, exactly my reaction, yeah. but oh, while so running bad. to the garbage. <laughs> Yeah, just <laughs> gushing. <laughs> just like straight to the compost. Oh get out gosh. of my life. Got Lysol and paper towels and wiped me down and the floor and the shelf. Oh, took no. a shower, washed my clothes immediately. Like, of oh, that's a stench that <laughs> is so you don't bad. Want around. I don't oh. like it. I am so sorry you had to experience that. You of all people, you've had bad experiences with potatoes in the past, but like it being on you, I know. Like, you probably scrubbed your skin for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's it called when you have to take, like, seven showers at a hospital to feel clean again? <laughs> a silver shower? Something Wednesday? Like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's today. That How'd your hospital just... shower go? <laughs> uh, I'm purer than my air. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember drawing a caricature, caricature of Anthony one time when he was uh, living in an apartment with some of our friends. Um, they had this whiteboard, and I would draw a picture on it every time I was about to go. So uh, this picture was of Anthony uh, using his exfoliating face scrub until his skin was <laughs> Because he just he really wanted to exfoliate. That's the caption. <laughs> uh. Anyways. You're gonna have that saved somewhere on a hard drive. <laughs> oh, probably somewhere. That and Corinne with her fingers stuck together with caramel. We once tried to make a sweet pizza with like peanut butter and caramel on it, and it was just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that whiteboard had wow. so many things to catalog. Absolutely. Oh, it was so fun. I love drawing on stuff. It's like communal. I did that at my parents' place too. We had a chalkboard that I would draw on all the time. I haven't drawn on a surface in a while. <laughs> a surface. You know what I mean. Like a <laughs> Under surfaces. <laughs> Graduated to a tablet. <laughs> or some teak, I suppose. Um, anyways, so let's get back to the drawing, which at this point, <clears throat> um, we're pretty oh, much... Oh, a delicious done. croissant. Oh, look at this delicious... Can I offer you a delicious croissant? Uh, so I think I'm going to do just a few sketches of this character, possibly. Uh, and if you guys have any other feelings of, like, what you want me to draw, if you have requests, throw it in the chat. Maybe I'll say yes. I don't know. You guys could request Anna to replace the croissant with a different kind of dessert that you would like. No, 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 no. That's not an option that we're playing with here. That's an option. We're going to do that one. Nah. What's your favorite dessert? Will you draw it? No. I refuse to answer the question. Oh my goodness. He's so persnickety. Oh, I forgot to bring my mic back. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, I have a microphone. Oh, hello. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, uh, <laughs> what kind of ASMR What's this Mr. Guessing? Mothman's name? Is it Mr. Buttons? Buttons McClagahan McDonald. Is that too many mix? Yeah. Darn it. Okay. I thought it was just the right amount. Um, McMick, how about? I think that's the only way it would work. Benjamin Noodle Pants. Mm, I want the word button in there somehow. Okay. Button Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> Is Benjamin Button? <laughs> he aged all the way back to a primordial moth. What's your secret? <laughs> Question. <laughs> oh my gosh. Primordial. <laughs> He's de-aging before my very eyes. I keep on back going to the back stone age. little bits. Oh, by the way, we didn't even cover mm -hmm. his neck. Jake had said, uh, Jake I once found said. a rotting onion under the sink. That was a hell of a thing. Like, <laughs> to the point it was turning to sludge. Oh, golly. <laughs> Amazing. Nasty. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty intense if you see... I mean... There is something fascinating about decomposition. I don't like it though. So fascinating but bad. Like that opening scene in True Blood. No, don't know that. Don't want to. Oh, it was okay. Nasty. Well, people Sorry. that know, know. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh 
<laughs> Woo! Um, Anthony Jackson says a Danish, and Jake suggests Benjamin's or, or wait, Buttons McBenjamin. Buttons McBenjamin. This is not copyright infringement. Benjamin's big big bidden. <laughs> That's definitely not copyrighted. I've never heard that in my life. Jackie Jorp Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Jorp Chomp. The Rurger. The Rurger. Oh, you're making an adaptation of the Rural Jura? I'm a huge... I can't remember what the, the author's name was, but fan. Caramel Apple! Oh, that's a good idea. I need water. Jake Green says, I guess I have to go make dinner. Have a lovely, lovely evening, I everyone. You have to make dinner. Now have a great dinner. Enjoy your, mm. your meal of not rotten onions. What are you making? What are you making? Yeah, yeah, quick, before you go. What are you making? I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. <coughs> I told myself just now that that was my last cough. Okay? So hold me to it. What if you need to cough? Nope. Not gonna need to. Not gonna know how. You're not gonna know how? I've forgotten how to cough, so if I need Throat, to. Throat, feel gonna funny. Die. How do thing? <laughs> ah! <gasps> how do cough? Uh, okay. I'm gonna draw. Let me draw, okay? Just let me draw. Get out and draw, 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 draw. This color probably reminds me of a watercolor you did of a tiger with a bird on his head. Say that louder. Whoa. Um, this color palette you have currently kind of reminds me of the watercolor. Why are you so quiet? Uh, the color palette that you have. <laughs> are you eating currently. the microphone? Oh, <laughs> Jake says he's making food. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Uh, sorry, you were saying the color palette reminds you of a uh, painting. Oh, it's a uh, uh, one second. Oh, if I had a stream deck, this would be so streamy. Uh, yeah, I made that tiger for Anthony. It's a watercolor with a little bird on his head, and on the bird's hat, there is a little clover. There's just so many layers it's going up and up and up. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, but it's not your favorite. Well, yeah, because you can leave a point on it. Oh my gosh, you're so quiet. Why are you so quiet? What do you mean I'm quiet? Oh, there you are. Now it popped back in. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Everyone, avert your ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake says it's a hella fresh thing. I think some kind of meatloaf. Awesome. Oh, I love meatloaf. Gosh, my grandma used to make us ham loaf, but then they stopped selling the stuff that she needed to use, so it must have been bad for us in some way, but... <laughs> It's it was been so good. <laughs> but I still love it so much. I like meatloaf a lot. Dang, I want a meatloaf now. The bitching mm. with Babish. Like a bat uh, out of hell. What? <laughs> what? Like a bat you know. out of hell? You love meatloaf? Oh! oh. <laughs> oh I get it, it now. It's all coming together. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment, but um, yeah, that uh makes sense. Good choice with your life. What were you asking? I don't know if I was asking anything, was I? Oh, have you seen the Binging with Babish episode uh, where he makes meatloaf? No. Does he make it with meatloaf? Not with the man meatloaf, no. But he did make kettle corn with uh, the what guy from What other meatloaf is there? <laughs> Joel McHale. There we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> he makes meatloaf out of really nice meats. He makes good stuff on his show. But he did it in a way. Okay, so describe your childhood meatloaf to me. Real quick. Uh, what does it look just like? Brown Paint me a word picture. bread bread loaf. You know like when you make your own bread at home and it's got a skinnier kind of core and a fluffy top, kind of like the shape of a muffin, but you just extruded it out and made it longer. Yeah. Okay. It's kinda of like that. It's got a puffy top. It's puffy got a muffin puffy top. top. Okay. And did you put it? And it's got on like them? a I think ketchup. Oh, we were I think a my grandma, Heinz 57 family. I think my grandma put some sort of ketchup on top of it, like a hot dog style distribution, where it's like a ziggy <laughs> wiggy <laughs> line. <laughs>
Tara said Yeah, October you nailed 3rd. it. It was October. Baby. October 3rd. We should be back. Crash Counter 6. Thanks, Anthony Jackson. <laughs> April 3rd. Are you getting it mistaken with the uh, miscongeniality where it's like, what's your fa or your perfect date? Describe your perfect date. You know, that confused me until kind of like a couple of years ago. I finally <laughs> got what the joke was. You are so. exactly her. Miss Rhode Island. Welcome to the state. Because I think on uh, April 23rd, my friend posted an Instagram story with like a it's meme or whatever yeah. and then i was i read it and i was like oh, that means something else that's uh, like a double entendre that's why it was a joke oh my gosh good job you got uh, it like 10 years later woohoo yes it's a weird little somersault for my brain absolutely <laughs> like, oh, no, I love this it movie's been in my talking. mind for years absolutely it's what else is there, there? Rent -free. do you have anything else do I have anything else like that? Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Looking back on movies in present day or recently and you were like, oh, I did not get that. Yes, I'm sure I do, but I can't recall yeah. any of them right now. Um, but yeah, I've had that moment many a time. You are not alone at all. I think uh, there was something in mis not Miss Congeniality. Uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Bend and snap. Uh Legally blonde. Pink. Oh. Pink. Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. It is pink. The uh, oh, synapses, oh, they go no. a certain way. Is OBS? I just, no, going I, a certain I moved way. my uh, text box. Oh my gosh, it's chaos. It's chaos. Don't look at the captions. No, no. <laughs> oh no. I'm trying to get it all into place and it's just rough. Okay, let's see if that works. Ryan would be so mad at me. <laughs> just, uh, oh, golly. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna get it in place now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh whoa! I can't see what you're doing at all, so this is very weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me one second and just talk to yourself. Talk to me, me. My captions are fine, right? To me, my captains are fine, right? To me, me. Wow, you're Wait, so entertaining. Wait, just like take it all of her energy oh, to not answer gosh, this question. Oh my gosh, I just got rid of you completely. <gasps> Do you deleted me out of the no, whole stream? No, no, you're back. Where did I go? I accidentally clicked to the screen where I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> right so after rude. I had got... I was trying to click <laughs> Entertain off. Okay, them. so the Get problem is <laughs> there is no undo in OBS. Let me just air all my grievances. This is OBS. You know grievance. it has been crashing. But also, you can't undo things. So once I move something, I can't move it back unless I like manually get it there. And then every single time, okay, so it has like a highlighted box around whatever I'm moving. So to get rid of that highlighted box, which can sometimes obscure whether it's fitting just right or not, I have to click off of it. And, th and every time I try to click off of it, it grabs the thing that I was doing and it slightly moves it because I have no control over my hand at all. This is uncontrollable. I don't know Whoa. how I have draw. Which one is that? Is that like crazy hand, master hand situation over there? Yeah, exactly. This is totally crazy <laughs> hand. And this one's like, I can barely do two things. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, the, Alexander, welcome to the stream. Hi. Hello. <laughs> but anyways, that, that is all to say I am sorry for taking up like five minutes of the stream. Just judging that back into place. It was annoying me to no end. It took me six minutes to explain Bob's Burgers, so, uh, <laughs> which was it's much eleven more minutes. So. It's a bad stream, and then all that the times great. that we've been like I love it. in the this void. Is my favorite stream. Shush. There's a lot of uh, dead air on this one. A basket of baked goods. One of everybody's. So we got a caramel apple, Danish carrot cake. I'm thinking there will be a decorative cloth covering all of that, but you know it's... <laughs> <laughs> so are we going with plaid, <laughs> picnic, good. blanket, picnic? Uh, gingham, what that's are, what that's called. <laughs> There's like a whole sheet of all the different kinds of stripe texture. Yeah, words. plaid is like the umbrella term, and then there's tons of other things that it could be. Picnic. Picnic. <laughs> but that's just gingham. 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 Gingham is like a checkerboard, but with a slightly offset. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's it's not exactly Dry. checkered. Ooh. No. Drive from memory. Ging. Test your test your knowledge. I know what it right. is. It's not hard. No, she had to look for it. <laughs> uh, but, but, so it's like a checker, 
but then it's got that slight like opacity change like it's on mm-hmm. multiply or something excuse me wow so i didn't cough anymore but i'm burping now so. that one's called kaufman no yeah it says kaufman right under that one. Oh my gosh i'm gonna sneeze there's no sneezeman no. you better keep scrolling <laughs> gotta find sneezeman i went away oh there you go that's gingham in case you what are the know, other ones anthony hey oh do you want to know okay let's look up types of plaid types of plaid which i think one started with a right so one started Ooh, with a. remember tartan Ugh. tartan oh this sounds like dessert uh Isn't tartine there a... is oh, okay a, that's what well it's a bread that you put like usually savory food on but yeah, yeah. uh glen plaid interesting tartan plaid mm. houndstooth plaid window are they all plaid 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 plaid, plaid? I don't. I, I would consider I houndstooth so. different, but maybe I'm just not in the cool. It's plaid rotated and poked. What? It's like if all the squares became diamonds, and then you just like poked at it with a stick in a couple of spots. Okay, That's how you get okay, houndstooth. Okay, okay, calm down. <laughs> or it looks like a space invader. Uh, check plaid is what my uh, nightshirt is made out of. It's very familiar yeah, to me. I feel like a yeah. lumberjack. Uh, gingham plaid, which this one has like gingham inside of gingham. It's gingham reception or checkerception in the gingham. Uh, Whoa. I like Maybe it's tattersall. houndstooth in there. Tattersall sounds great. Yeah. And madras. I remember having a collared madras shirt that had little gold thread going through it, and I felt like I was the prettiest belle at the ball. Oh, I don't like that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was all the colors plus gold <laughs> so yay anna okay anyways that's our little plaid dalliance uh <laughs> oh no Alis- alessandra cannot find uh the eraser or sharpener dang it that's that's a lot. break the pencil <laughs> just get rid of the evidence move on never look back Okay, so we're drawing our little character. Our little Did you ever take the lead friend. out of wood pencils? No. Did you? Sometimes I would like strategically then? break it down. Break it down. Like vertically and take out the whole piece of lead. I have never done that, but that's actually kind of genius because I remember in art school there were uh, woodless pencils that were sold for quite a, a sum. So yeah, well, I, I mean. Them back. No. So this is more like mechanical pencil numbered size lead like those lead pencils were the full-on pencil with grip and everything yeah this is just a very thick mechanical pencil type of thing because the core of a wooden pencil is could you put it in your mechanical um, pencil no it's like way thicker it's probably like 10 mechanical pencil things put together but not as thick as an actual pencil pencil because it's in the core of the pencil you should have built a mechanical pencil that could hold it whoa and out of it wood would be like taking something and then making a robot out of it like i took your guts and put it into a robot and now you're a robocop <laughs> eh, eh. is that what that movie is i've never eh. seen it i want to watch it oh okay do it is it on netflix i have no clue sorry uh alessandra apparently also did that so good yeah. on ya, you weirdo it's also very <laughs> satisfying I imagine it would be, yeah, but um, to get it out in one piece is a challenge. Like it's pretty fragile, so it could break, especially because the like metal clamp at the top that holds the eraser in place that kind of creates a tension point when you're trying to break the wood off. And okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not like a whole split. So you're actually really skilled. (laughs) Like you built up your skill over many a year. There were tools. What? Yeah. Tools? Your tools? Your tool? What? There were tools. There you were gotta break into that pencil with something. So <laughs> probably used whatever I had on hand. Oh man. Tools are the best. I just uh I've been painting very fine lines on uh little sculpts and having a a brush that does the very fine lines actually like as its main function changes the game completely it's just insane how much you can work against your tools if you don't have the right ones so get whatever you need for your job psa from anna 
working with the crummy ones to start probably makes the better ones that much more manageable. Oh my gosh. It's like, I have so, so much control. <laughs> I had control before, but now I have so much control. If you're trying to paint something really fine on a sculpture, though, like, I'm sure uh, model painters know the, p the pain <laughs> of, like, I just can't get this one, like, meeting place to be a clean line or whatever, and it's infuriating you could like cut all the hairs off of a brush till it's like one and still never get the control that like a brush that's meant to be for fine lines can get you and it costs money but it's worth it you were drawing a moth person because it kind of looks like a devil okay yeah they're also the devil you know about the mothman lore right not really oh. only from the magicians the magicians they had a mothman and the magician i did not know uh, but yeah, the... I think that was season one. I think you guys watched that. Yeah, I've forgotten like ninety nine percent of that show. Yeah, um, but first season was pretty good. The Mothman uh, is like a a cryptid kind of thing in American lore, and there's even a statue of him somewhere. And uh, I remember this from uh, Busted Unsolved. Ryan and Shane went to where that was, and they found the statue, and they were like, "Wow, that's really menacing. It's like completely." Chromey, I think, but then you go around to the backside and it's got this very sculpted bum. Heck yeah. <laughs> very sculpted. Wow. Uh, so now people go there and take pictures and send them Mothman to them. Mothman can like, get yeah. it. <laughs> you should definitely look up the Mothman sculpture. Um, but yeah, the, there's like, you know, just it's kind of like Sasquatch lore where it's like, oh yeah, people disappeared in the woods. So, at least for my memory, I can't remember all of it because I'm not that into the cryptid lore but uh if you are you probably know much more than i do oh yeah he's got a little tie on the front a beep a bop so uh anthony should we tease the uh the sleepover stream yeah what have you got planned for it nothing <laughs> <laughs> that Not we're much gonna... of a teaser. <laughs> <laughs> that we're gonna be in person at night streaming. That's it. There you go. <laughs> Get be ready. Here on Friday. <laughs> I don't know what time yet. Do you want to decide on a time? I think. Uh, mm, yeah, we'll Not figure crazy it out. Light, but like. Well, no, that's why I wanted to talk to you before after the stream, so that we could sort out plans for it. Uh, okay, excellent. So. We're going to talk You're about catching it. me off then... guard. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you don't know when we're streaming, just uh, be on the Discord and you will know every single time the most updated information about when and where to catch the streams. And the link for that is in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, but the uh, Friday stream, we've been meaning to do a later night stream because there are people from all over the world who are from different time per time periods. What? <laughs> You're from the 18th century and I'm from ancient Japan. I don't know. Uh, so it's my favorite time period. <laughs> ancient Japan. <laughs> oh, man. I, I really want to know more about world history, like world history. I want to go in depth. As... Ooh, I bet you're going to find a good YouTube channel for that. Ooh, ooh you think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'm excited because you'll recommend it to me. And <laughs> we're going to learn together. 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 Forever. <laughs> you got a problem? <laughs> We're the evil fish from The Little Mermaid. Oh my gosh, we are. We just need an <laughs> Ursula. And two yellow eye contacts. <laughs> I can't wait. Could we dress up for Halloween someday? Because like, we uh, as those fish. To. Oh, I want to do this. Body paint. <laughs> we could paint the yellow part around our eye. James could be Ursula. Oh, he's got the white hair. <laughs> oh, he'd look beautiful. Sorry, you could like wait. spike it up and like.
boom, we're back. How about that? <laughs> Alessandra. What's the prize going to be? <laughs> uh, we'll have to come up with a prize, but who right now is in the lead? I mean, it's hard to... Well, I think Anthony Jackson started at five. Alessandra's at eight. And Jake's nine. Okay. So, so Alessandra's closest. Eight, yeah. Very exciting. Alessandra, are you on the edge of your seat? <laughs> How many times? Oh, man. But, yeah, the uh, the stream... Between eight and nine. That confused me. This platform's three and quarters? <laughs> what? You said seven's between eight and nine. It's not. It confused me so hard. Okay, don't listen to me. That's what's confusing you. Just negate I was looking at I the said. numbers and I was like, how do they go? How do they go? No! It's not between. <laughs> it's right before Because eight. seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what were you saying? Sorry, oh. I was I was trying to mean. Wow, you just popped back in audio wise. It's like you're really <sighs> quiet and then suddenly you're in my ear. Is it my gain? Is it my gain? You hear me turn? Oh, God. <laughs> I think it just has a sensitivity, and if you go under it, you're really quiet, and then once you hit it, it's like. <clears throat> okay. I turned up the gain. I turned it down for Overwatch the other day because I saw my little icon in Discord was constantly like I was talking, so I figured the gain was too high. Agreed. I understand completely. Uh, but yeah, you sound good to me now. So what's the prize? It's a surprise. Oh. No, what do you think a, a prize would be? Uh, I've got stickers. I've got postcards. Let's say nice after the stream. Let's give some time to think about it. So what I meant by between seven and nine, or eight and nine, woo was that well, those are the two closest like that we uh, have the potential to get up to nine but we also if we don't get up to nine then we have eight so it's either Alessandra or Jake yeah does that make sense yep good, so it's between good, good. Alessandra and Jake it's not between eight and nine yes right yes I should have said it that way correct I get it now. Oh, good. I'm so glad you understand. <laughs> I was very afraid there for a while. Processed. Processing. Processing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. How long are things? Let's just stack this person up. Why not? Hey, how about that? I got pretty close. My goodness. Are you impressed? By myself? Yes, I am. Constantly. Wait, what were you checking? Uh, I'm lining up these two characters. You see the low opacity one in the background? Yeah. And then I have the Oh, sketch, did you like transform it, was, it like, into It was place? over here. It was like uh, off yeah. a little bit. And so I just dragged it over here to see how closely it lined up with like the size of the Actually, head. okay. Yeah. That is more impressive. Right? I know. I did that freehand. And I was just like, oh, there's the proportions. Worked out. Not to brag, but you know, pretty awesome. <laughs> no, yeah, that's pretty cool. But I didn't make the pants skinny it's enough. Head. Gotta have it's, skinny. It sounds pants. loud outside. Yeah, it sounds loud outside. We should just never go out there. <laughs> Come inside. It's better here. You know what I was thinking of getting? Some boba tea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, did you see Tyler? Friday? Tyler Gibson's art on Behance. He's got like a little Frodo. No, I haven't seen his page yet. What? He has a little Frodo. Tyler, say something so I can check out your page. And Anonymous well, Panda, is that Corinne? <laughs> They're from Australia, whoever they are. <laughs> uh, I'll oh, put a link Joe. in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alessandra says, Y'all, lol, yes I am, but Jake might win. Ha ha. Uh, I though I never win things. Oh, Alessandra, you win my heart. And then uh, Anonymous Panda says, You might. You, you might. might. Who knows? Tyler oh also has gosh, a piece Tyler's called A Disturbance so on the cute. Green, which is like a mouse and like some duckies. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. He's really cute. Look at that! Oh my gosh, little Frodo. Big feet, big hair. Okay, here's oh. my take on it. It's like if a Western studio had a My Neighbor, the Yamadas, inspired Lord of the Rings. That's wow. what this art style would be. I could see that. 
Also, do you see the little hobbit house behind under the tree? Oh, cute. Oh, amazing. So good, Tyler. So good. And also a disturbance on the green. Oh, those hills <laughs> on the greens. Pretty good. It would be hard oh, to roll golf so ball good. on anything. This is also something that like I really want to work on is having a, a minimal background that tells a really good story. Like this is a perfect little spot illustration. It's so great. Excellent job, Tyler. I love it. That's follow, follow, cute. follow. Sleigh so out of Washington. The texture. Just the texture. <laughs> texture. Exactly. Oh, man. The good stuff. Okay. Go on here. We have about 20 minutes left. Oh, my What's gosh. the plan for this guy? Are we going for a full color up or just sketches? However far we get, I suppose. Suppose. <laughs> Uh, right now, I'm questioning his legs completely. You know what one of the rules is? Is you draw through. So what we're going to do is just take another layer and make a body. body yaddy 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 Like this. You always draw oh. through. That's rule number one on three-point perspective. Duh. Rule number one! Can you say any of them? Do you remember? You only get three wishes. Count them. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. No, blah, blah, blah. Or refunds. <laughs> that part. And then I can't make anybody come back from the okay. dead. It's, a, it's gross. I don't like doing it. <laughs> and then the third one was, and I can't make anybody fall in love. And then he comes, becomes a big pair of lips. <laughs> Rule number three. Oh, man, that's good <laughs> stuff. Anybody else love Aladdin? Eh? 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 I do. You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow, get it. <laughs> wow, also wow. the birds. The birds from The Little Mermaid. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> scuttle. Yeah. Yes. The original Cardi B. <laughs> Wow, that would count as shade if you knew who she was. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Wait, what are her shoes? Oh, okay, there we go. Draw shoes, in addition to draw throughs. <laughs> you get it, you get it, you get it? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> oh, that was good. Good job, Anthony. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, and whatchamacallit? What was I going to say? Oh, Fresco, uh, we still have a capybara that I need to finish painting, so might do a silent stream one of these days, too, just to nab that in the bud. What? Nab that in the bud. <laughs> Ibrahim says so good. Yeah, probably about uh, Tyler's work. It's so good. Anthony Jackson says, ah, oh, Aladdin. Ah, oh, <laughs> rule number one. I was going to say noodle number one. Why? Uh, I can't kill anybody, so don't ask. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Uh, if you were a genie, what would you do? Phenomenal cosmic power. Beedy beedy living space. Well, okay, so... What would you do with the three wishes, I suppose, is a better question. Oh. Well, I don't know. Part of me wants more magic, so is there a way to make that real? Like, I have magical powers. Yeah, like, the genie is magical, so I'm assuming there's got to be some sort of magic that they're tapping into, and I just want that to be more of the world. Like, can we, I want Avatar world to be real. Like, benders? How cool would that be? It would be cool, but I don't know if I trust this world to have magic. Like, imagine... I mean, did the, you, the world in the Avatar those. world was also bad. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's still, just human it nature. So my second wish would be world peace. <laughs> okay, okay. With bending. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> see, that's why you let the first wish settle. <laughs> like, yeah. Let's like, see what happens. Let's see what pans out. <laughs> if this creates mass hysteria, then I'll fix it with my next one. Yeah. Also, um, if you wish for magic that's such a monkey paw kind of thing where it's like okay well whatever that means 
it could go highly off the road. So like if you wanted magic to exist, maybe you say like the magical universe of Howl's Moving Castle. Make that our reality. Yeah, but then I also got specific. I said Avatar World. <laughs> uh okay Avatar bending World. would so be we the have magic bending. uh by yeah. the way anonymous panda is asking what kind of bender are you and muhammad hi welcome to the stream hi. you go first i think i would be a water bender uh i feel most like that's kind of you know they talk about the sensibilities of the people and how you kind of work with the element and how it it kind of feels to work with it and i think that water would be closest to mine um, but if I were to just choose whichever was my favorite, I'd probably go with air. I feel like you never run out of it. It's just sweet. Yeah. And I think I would be a firebender. Ooh, really? Yeah. Play Mio, Hotman. <laughs> well, kind of just based off of their culture, it felt like a lot of their stuff was streamlined and organized and maintained. And there was like a regimen to it, which... I kind of appreciate that kind of thing mm -hmm. in my own workflow. So I don't know. That felt relatable. And then also hot tempered sometimes. Oh, you're so that felt relatable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it. yeah, same as you, I would also choose Airbender. Oh, you would choose Airbender? Gotcha. Yeah. Isn't that what you said? You feel most aligned with Waterbender, but you would choose Airbender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking you were choosing Fire. No, I just feel like I would be most aligned with that. Mm, gotcha. Well, that's It'd probably awesome. be my second choice. I feel like or maybe waterbender would because I'm scared of drowning. And if I was a waterbender, maybe that would probably control. like alleviate that fear. Possibly. Who knows? Maybe it would make it worse. I know. Yeah. What a story that would be. Waterbender drowns. No. <laughs> uh, well, the yeah, there are a lot of things that like. It, it's a scary world still uh, even if you have bending it's like you could still drown there's the possibility of uh, if you're a firebender you could still burn yourself you know like you're not necessarily protected from the elements just because you can bend them unless yeah. you get good at it 100% um, I think that's why it would help alleviate my fear it's because I can control it most of the time but most of the time <laughs> I mean, most normal people, quote unquote, aren't scared of the water. So maybe I would just normalize. I'm scared of tornadoes, but they aren't near me. So I don't me know. Too. I feel like people have fears that aren't like, uh, well, I want to say irrational, but I know what you mean, where it's like it, it can be irrational fear. Speaking of earthbenders and airbenders, I have the new Kyoshi book that I need to read. Excellent! Yes, I'm so excited for you to read that. I hope it's really good. Today was kind of a tasky day. Now that I've got time away from work, I um, was doing that website research stuff. I had to do some tax-related things. Ugh, taxes. Why? They seem to um, like you. Yeah, well, that's why I'm doing them is because... It was plaguing me. No fun. Um, but yeah, that's what I was doing right before here, coming up with a loss and profit statement. Oh, nice. That sounds like something they would talk about on Three Point Perspective. They haven't yet. I haven't heard that. Oh, they will. They will. They talk about it. But I'm just doing it because the text person is like, you need to submit this ahead of your appointment. Interesting. And I haven't really had to do those much. I did one in 2018 when I was applying for like a business credit card. Oh, gotcha. I've never done a business credit card. Have you? Or wait. Yes, you just said so. Uh, Actually, no, I, I didn't qualify. So. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I bet you. I applied know. the first year I became a freelancer.
Okay, we're back. Hopefully. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> Anthony says eight crashes, possibly. We I don't see. remember. <laughs> Ooh, Anonymous Panda says I'm an earthbender, mostly because I enjoy doing uh, stuff outdoors and like playing with rocks. I love it. Yes, playing with rocks is the best. <laughs> Who doesn't like playing with rocks? I mean, come on. Do you ever think you would be an airbender? Or, I mean, sorry, earthbender? I mean, I wouldn't be picky if they were like, this is the bender that you get to be. I'd be like, heck yeah, whatever you want to give you. me. <laughs> um, Agreed. But it probably wouldn't be in my first couple of choices, which <laughs> there's not a lot of choices to choose from. It's first couple. I so suppose you have to work down the line of like uh metal bending lava bending type of thing as well like because you can be an earthbender but it gets a little bit more nuanced sometimes like lightning and all that jazz absolutely yeah there's expansive kind of ways of using it so we know about blood bending for water benders, uh, sand bending, earth benders. I think uh, James has said many a time that specifically he would be a sand bender. <laughs> I think that's fascinating. Knowing that it does seem like earth has a lot of facets to it. There's earth, metal, lava, sand. It's, they got a whole slew of them. They got it all going on, which is pretty. And then. Was it considered a different type of bending when Korra and Aang bended like this space rock? Oh, yeah, it, it had metal in it. So that I think, I mean, I would consider it the same, but like slightly different. Very but interesting. Not like a, I'm a meteor bender. <laughs> right. That would be insane. But uh, obviously, we've talked about it for two streams now. We should do some Avatar The Last Airbender fan art. Because, like, it's on the mind of the people. The people being us. Yeah. <laughs> do it. What's the hold up? Oh, um. I felt like drawing this today. Did you watch all of She Ra? Oh my gosh, yes, I did. The Moth People, do you remember them? Not really. That must have been very um, fleeting. <laughs> I think they showed up a couple of times. There was like one episode with them. Mm -hmm. But then they came back in a, a future episode because of events or whatever. Because but, of events, yes. <laughs> you know, you know how those events go. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember. I feel like a lot of that show, honestly. It wasn't that long ago I watched it. Don't know why. So it's binge watching. Yeah, I think yeah, binge watching makes it so that you don't remember quite as much, um, but you enjoy it in the moment. <laughs> so trade off. Mm -hmm. uh, but that one, I don't feel like I watched it a ton, like all at once. It was more like every day for a few months. We'd sit and watch it during lunch. It was a good one. If you haven't seen that it's one, a good I one. would recommend. Yeah. Anything else worth recommending um, recently? Let's see. Recently. There's Craig of the Creek that started in 2018, but Craig it was the a Creek. recent dis discovery for us because it's on HBO. Absolutely. Yes, that one's very good. Uh, one of the next ones I want to start watching is Owl House, which is on Disney+. Plus. Um, and whatchamacallit... I mean, all the Ghibli movies. That's what I've been watching lately. My Hero Academia. Really good. My Hero. If Did you guys get caught that, up? Tell me about your quirk. <laughs> I want to know about that. Uh, we're as caught up as we can be, yeah, right now. On the anime, not on the manga. Uh, but yeah, I'm... I'm continually just happy to live in that world. I think that quirks and bending and all that kind of stuff is always just really fascinating. So I really like uh, that kind of storytelling, especially when it centers so so much on like the characters, uh, especially with My Hero Academia. They have five million characters, but they all get time. And I really enjoy that. 
Yeah, that's true. And the quirks and like mutant Marvel stuff makes it even more diverse than a bending world would be. Absolutely. And sometimes James and I will just talk about quirks and be like, so if a quirk worked this way, or like we'll come up with random words and be like, just think of a word and then think of another word and we'll put them together and come up with a quirk. That's them. So the last one I remember is uh, it was chicken and astronaut. So we came up with the idea that uh, there's like a water or like no, not a water type, uh, airtight kind of bubble that you could create around you. And it's in the shape of an egg. So it's like chicken, but you could float through space with it. So it's like astronaut. <laughs> So that was kind of what we came up with. Uh, Anthony, say a random word. Go, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. Random word. Moth, Moth croissant. Moth croissant. Okay. So how could that be a quirk? <laughs> you um, thought about it too much. How dare you? Oh, no. <laughs> I give up. Too much pressure. I don't like it. No, there's no pressure. We're just, oh, just... Uh... Go, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. Don't think. No pressure. Well, yeah, but it's not pressure. Like what? you have to do it's it 100% well. Pressure. It's it's trying to rush you so that you get a genuine like first reaction. Oh, my brain doesn't do that. Oh, your brain can do that. It just literally just said moth croissant. That's what my brain did. You saw it. You were here. You witnessed what it said. I didn't first. say that what you did was wrong. I'm just telling you, it wasn't meant to stress you out. It was meant to speed you up. <laughs> And that's why but, I just said uh, the first thing I looked at. Yeah, my brain which is doesn't fine. work that and other moth way. Moth croissant is a great answer. So moth croissant, so what would we do? Superpower? Layers and the ability to fly. So maybe they have layers of wings where it like, you know, like it flaps like. But it's like flower that comes off of their wings instead of that moth. <laughs> yeah, and they can they can spread a fine uh, powdering of. Maybe it's flour. Maybe it's something else. Something that maybe they could do any ingredients. That's like, what the layers are: uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. Cinnamon, nutmeg. Mm -hmm. And their name is Palmier. <laughs> <laughs> and their power is called. Uh... Oh my gosh! Because you know, in my hero, they have the name of the hero, and then the name of their power like their hero name yeah yeah yeah. so their hero name is palmier and then their power is called flower power flower power <laughs> that's good i like that uh anonymous panda says sub or dub uh i believe we do sub um and anthony jackson says bloodbending is illegal just by the way i wasn't thinking about doing it but now i feel like i should because you know Oh, Alessandra says, Anna, yesterday the sun and moon were orange. Did you notice it too? Uh, I remember looking at the moon several times throughout the night. At the beginning of the night, it was very, very, very bright. And then way later in the night, it was really, really deep orange. Why was that, Alessandra? Tell me. Was there some kind of celestial event? Also, Anonymous Panda says, you can generate bread using moth wings as a portal. I would like that, please. Yes, thank you. Bread for the masses. I fly over them and they get bread. It's a rain and bread. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I agree. Wow, you you did it. You made it to six o'clock and you made a whole second one. I mean, did you doubt me? I have the power of you. And one's completely digital and one's half traditional, half digital. Oh, wait. That's fun. This one's mis missing its feet colors. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, the socks are like that dark green. Okay. Sure. We did it. Let's call it good. Oh, except this needs a secondary color. Uh, I think we're gonna... Uh, let's just do this. <laughs> to make it gingham, like Anthony requested. Or is this Madras? Or is it Tartan? Tell me, what's the difference? This is madness. <laughs> In a town called madness. Ooh, yeah. 
All right. So we are going to be back on Friday. Uh, it's going to be a different time than usual. So keep an eye on the Discord for when we tell you about that. It will be sooner rather than later. I'll let you know what the timing is going to be. Uh, and thank you so much for joining in. This was an absolute delight to paint with you guys. Uh, this is our little Mothman sketch from my sketchbook on the left, just straight up a picture of my sketchbook. Uh, we actually started, let's show, beep, bop. that's what we started with. This didn't even exist. Look at that, just that. Then we threw some color behind it. We even added some color to the lines. Threw. What? Just threw color on it. It looked perfect. Just threw color on, yeah. Duh. We took two hours to beautifully master and render this piece of art. <laughs> render. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we did a little digital sketch and colored it in. So we've got two little poses uh, of this one character, this little Mothman of ours. And I think he's much more charming than the Mothman. Even the sculpted butt one, I feel like. <laughs> he's even more charming than that possibly. So, uh, Anthony Jackson says the final crash counter is eight. So I believe that that means officially Alessandra wins. Congratulations. Yay, Alessandra wins. I will be in contact with you for your prize. We will figure out what it's going to be, but you won. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining in today. Sometimes we have random contests about how many times the stream will crash. It makes it fun and acceptable. So fun. <laughs> Uh, thank you for sticking with us through all of the nonsense. And uh, remember that after this, there are probably going to be streamers with uh, non-crashes. So they will also appreciate a like. So pop that on their video. And remember to wash your hands and wear a mask. And please, dear Lord, as soon as you can, get vaccinated. Uh, and just be a wonderful human being as much as you possibly can. Anthony, and stretch. Is there anything you'd like to say before we leave? Stretch. It's important to stretch more than once every three days. <laughs> oh my gosh, Anthony. Stretch every day. That's what this week. is. That's what monkey pause time is, I feel, for a lot of people. It's like, oh yeah, my body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely. And drink water. I don't think I saw Anna drink a single sip of water no, this I whole stream. Some water. I, I had a full Check the levels. Wow. Yeah. Now, are you saying your glass is half full or half empty? My body is more full than my glass. <laughs> there you go. Nailed it. All right. Have a great day, everyone. We will see you again on Friday. Bye. Bye.